Hello kids, I hope you all are safe and good. Today we are going to learn the topic food. Kids, before starting the session, I want to tell you one important thing that is you can download the application extra marks for better understanding of our topic. Okay, now let's move. First of all, I want to tell you why there is a need of food. Kids, we need food for energy. Energy for what? to work and play. Kids, food save us from infections and illnesses. Okay, as you can see in the picture also, food gives us energy and it helps us in our growth. Kids, do you ever wonder what's there in the food which gives us energy? Kids, there are the substances and we call them nutrients. Yes, we call them nutrients which helps us in our growth. Okay, let's see how many important nutrients are there and what are the functions. Okay, so first, see here, there are six essential nutrients. How many? Six. Fats, minerals, water, vitamins, proteins, carbohydrates. Okay, these are all important for our health. So let's discuss these nutrients in detail. First one, carbohydrates. Children, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are the body's most important source of energy. As you can see here, it gives us energy. So we call it energy giving food. Okay. And we should consume maximum of this food group. So we can be healthy. Okay. As you can see, the example of food from which we can get the carbohydrates you can see in the picture pulses maize vegetables nuts cereals etc okay now let's see the next important nutrient and that is fats kids fats also like carbohydrates provide energy to the body okay and but it provides us energy twice as much as of energy in the comparison with carbohydrates in comparison of carbohydrates it gives us energy double but then also we should consume least of this food group why is it so because it is not healthy for us okay it makes us fat so we should eat this type of food in the minimum amount okay let's see the examples from which you get the fats butter nuts oil ghee peanut butter, cheese, etc. Okay. Now let's see the next nutrient. Next nutrient is protein. Protein. What are proteins? Proteins are one of the building blocks of body. What? Building blocks of body. Kids, it builds muscles and strong immune system. Immune system means our immunity which helps us to fight against disease okay if we don't get the protein in our food we are not able to fight against disease and will become sick okay so we should eat protein in our daily diet okay now can you see the picture from which type of food we can get the protein mainly we get the protein from green vegetables as you can see here okay and apart from that, we can also get the protein from nuts, dals and dairy products. Dairy products like milk, ghee, cheese, etc. Okay, now let's see the next important nutrient and it is vitamin and minerals. Okay, vitamins are like soldiers for our body. What? Soldiers. Okay, because they protect us from our, from disease and infections. We call them soldiers of our body because it protects us from disease like a soldier protects their country from enemies. Okay, so we are ca calling it soldiers of our body. And next one, as you can see, minerals like iron helps us in the formation of blood. Minerals helps us in formation of blood. So we should have vitamin and minerals in our diet and examples from which you can get that. You can see in the picture broccoli spinach bananas potatoes cheese yogurt 
and etc okay now let's see the important one next is water as you all know water is very important for us as you can see in this picture children we are having 70% of our body made up of water yes our body contains 70% of water let's see what are the important function of the water it helps us in the digestion of food has in the formation of blood it also removes toxins from our body in the form of sweating and urine okay kids sweating that you uh, get in the summer it because of water only okay here we can you see uh, the note we should drink 8 to 12 glasses of water in a day yes kids we should drink at least 8 to 12 glasses of water in a day i hope that you will follow it and you will be healthy okay kids let's move further these are all about nutrients that we have now next is balanced diet kids what is balanced diet a diet consisting of variety of different types of food and providing adequate amounts of nutrients necessary for good health the diet which gives us the proper nutrients in the proper amount we call it balanced diet so we should have balanced diet in our food okay as you can see in the picture what uh, what's there in the balanced diet vegetables fruits dairy products pulses and beans rice and grains okay let's move further as you can see here one pyramid and we call it food pyramid why we call it food pyramid kids because it contains food okay let me tell you what's the importance of this as you can see at the bottom we are having grains and when we go from bottom to top the fruits you can see fruits you can see in this we should eat according to that only last one grains so we should eat maximum of grains then comes vegetable and fruits then we should eat vegetable and fruits less than grains then we should eat milk and alternatives like meat fish egg and alternatives alternative means the ma uh, things made up of meat or the things made up of milk so last one we should eat least minimum that is fat oil salt salt and sugar so according to this pyramid we should have our food daily okay so we can get all the nutrients important nutrients which helps us in our growth okay kids now let's move further now there is a home assignment for you as you can see you have to do this strictly you have to follow F uh, see the question list the main nutrients found in each food you have to write down the main nutrient that the food contains okay kids i hope you all understood this topic very well and for the better understanding you can use the application extra marks thank you and have a good day